turn our eyes away from beholding vanity and quicken in us all of your ways, Lord. Amen. I started to get into morning prayers when a thought entered my mind which would easily give way to vanity. When Father God began speaking, I see so much ugliness of hearts and minds in the world today. It breaks my heart when darkness overshadows our light in my children. We are most grieved with what holds value in mankind. There are continual negative messages around the globe and in all nations about your children's true worth and outward beauty. Parents, both spiritually and physically, must be vigilant and prayerful as you teach your daughters and sons about their inner beauty and self-worth. Fashion and appearance reign supreme today. People are being told they are not good-looking enough, so they try everything, even plastic surgery, to alter their God-given natural appearance. Look to Scripture and take the approach of not trying to fit into society's idea of beauty. I do not focus on outward appearance. It is what is on the inside that matters most to us. My dear ones, inner beauty can be developed so it will be reflected in everything you do and who you are in my Son. When he said the word reflected, this reminded me of James 1, 23. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in a mirror. I was thinking all about the prayer that I still needed to get in this morning when I caught myself. Have I lost it? Here the creator of the universe is speaking and my thoughts are drifting. God, help this poor, weak vessel. Father said, I will. He continued, Untrustworthy people can give the appearance of trust, but inside, darkness rules over their actions. And here Ted Bundy popped into my head as an example of how outward appearance is not the best way to determine how good a person is. Ted was a very handsome man who in the 1970s murdered woman after woman before he was caught. He was an effective serial killer because he was very charming and good-looking. People like Ted Bundy serve to remind us that what is on the outside does not always match the inside. More importantly, God continued, Look at Jesus, my son. In his earthly ministry, people did not flock to him due to his outward appearance. No, instead he was hung on a cross and died for you. His own people did not look beyond the outer appearance to see his inner beauty and holiness. Unfortunately, my children, you live in a superficial world where people do judge on appearance which influences your thinking and actions. Ask yourselves, does your focus on your appearance take your eyes off of your God? Are you more concerned about your weight, clothes, or makeup than your Savior? I tell you to take a closer look at your hearts and actions rather than your presentation and appearance. A man or woman of noble character represents right and good and is worth much in our eyes. They bring good and not harm. They are unselfish and walk uprightly, are willing to help others and have great love for them and their God. Did I not tell Samuel to see not as man sees, as man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart? Wisdom is far more valuable than any material thing, and blessed is the man or woman who sets their heart on it. And that was the end of Father God's message. Let us stand on the word of God so that we may possess imperishable beauty. Proverbs 3, 15 through 18. She, meaning wisdom, is more precious than jewels and nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honors. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life, 
to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold her fast are called blessed. And in 1 Peter 3, 3 through 4, Do not let your adorning be external, the braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry or the clothing you wear, but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. Amen.